recently had the opportunity to take my 2019 Ford Mustang GT Performance Pack Level 2 on an 1800 mile road trip from Texas to Iowa. I would begin my journey leaving from the Austin, Texas area on a Friday afternoon around 4.30 p.m. and make my way north on Interstate 35 with the goal of making it to Wichita, Kansas around the midnight hour where I will spend the rest of the night at a hotel. Welcome to Kansas, 11.52 p.m. Friday, July 17th, 2020. We're just 29 minutes or 32 miles away from the hotel in Wichita, Kansas. The following day, I will continue on I-35 towards my final destination of Oskaloosa, Iowa a small rural town located just 50 miles southeast of Des Moines. All right, got a decent night's rest here at the uh, Kansas Star, actually the Hampton Inn at the Kansas Star Casino um, here in Kansas, just uh, outside Wichita. It's a beautiful morning. It's actually not too uh, muggy. I mean, it's muggy, but it's it's not as, as warm as it is usually. But uh, everything's all packed in the Mustang, ready to go, ready to hit the road again. Cue the Willie Nelson song, on the road again. Let's get going. We got uh, about six and a half hours to go today. Hopefully it goes off uh, without a hitch. I was initially concerned about driving such a long trip with these tires, since the rear tires were in fact worn down to the wear bar indicators. But after a talk with my brother Brad, who races cars with these kinds of tires down to the cords, I felt much more confident that they would be okay. same company that makes the Cessna planes Of all the vehicles we own, the Mustang is our most fuel efficient, especially on the highway. The EPA fuel economy rating for the 2019 Mustang GT is 15 mile per gallon city and 24 MPG highway for a combined fuel rating of 18 miles per gallon. I have found this to be fairly accurate. My own fuel records show a total combined MPG of 17.21 after 22 tank fills. This is the total calculated MPG, whereas the average computer MPG for the same number of fill-ups is 18.5. On this road trip, I averaged around 21.7 miles per gallon, an impressive number if you consider that my average speed was probably around 75 miles per hour and I was running some fairly worn Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires that had just under 2,500 miles on them. The Mustang was such a pleasure to drive on the road. I found the digital dash and cockpit to be very engaging. Even after hours of driving, I felt in tune with the car. It was almost as if the car and I were both one being that was slicing through the air and hugging the road at an incredible rate of speed for miles on end. Despite being low to the ground, the visibility is good and I never had a problem with seeing traffic or obstacles on the road. The leather Recaro racing seats that were optioned in this Mustang were very comfortable 
which was surprising since they do fit you very snugly. I did find that towards the ends of the day that parts of my body would be somewhat sore and tired of being in the same position. But this can be said for almost any seats after sitting in them for hours. In fact, the way the seats hold you in place kind of allows your muscles to fully relax since they don't have to try and keep you in the same place or compensate your seating position when turning or when your body shifts from hitting bumps in the road. I think this led to them being as comfortable as they were and reduced driver fatigue over most regular car seats. So I'm here at this Casey's General Store and I've got to pee like bad. Really bad. Thanks. Thanks, man. Thank you. All right, we're good. We're good. I have reached the point where I will leave Interstate 35 and take a set of back roads that will provide the shortest route to the town of Oskaloosa. This ended up being a very fun stretch of scenic Iowa backcountry with a mix of rolling hills and cornfields. The twists and turns were a lot of fun in the Mustang and it was a nice change from the miles of interstate driving. a lot of you are wondering what prompted me to take such a long road trip. Well, a good friend of mine, David Armentrout, had recently passed away and today was the day of his visitation. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to make it, but a small time window opened up and I decided to take advantage. Unlike a lot of people, I enjoy a good road trip. In our household, our vehicles are the cornerstone of our freedom and mobility, so making a drive of this length was an easy choice. made it the kinsman's keep banquet hall in oskaloosa iowa completely worth it. Dave Armantrout, 
such a good man. Got me into a lot of hobbies I never thought I'd ever be into. Um, it's just a fun guy to be around. With roughly 900 miles ahead of me for the return journey, the plan now was to drive 550 of those miles for the remainder of the day. This would put me close to the Oklahoma City area shortly after midnight. The following day will be a quick 380 miles and should put me home sometime around 3 p.m. The final leg of the journey was a breeze. After cruising through Oklahoma, I finally made it back to the Lone Star State. My 1800 mile journey that began just less than 48 hours prior was finally coming to an end. And less than 48 hours later, I'm back home. It's good to be home.